it's astonishing how much effort it takes just to get these traps, these abandoned traps, out of the water and basically discarded. It, it's not a simple process uh, even to find them, even though we have some advanced electronics, finding the traps on the bottom is difficult. So quite often what we have to do is put divers in the water where we know people used to fish for lobsters with traps and they go down and if we're lucky, and usually we are, we'll find a couple of traps that we can recover, bring back up to the boat and take them back to shore where we can discard them. Hi, my name's Dave, Dave Merrill. I've been a volunteer with Ocean Defenders for about nine years now. When I was a youngster, uh, up until I was about 13, I lived with my parents in Colombia, South America, and we would spend most weekends on some offshore island, coral islands, and I did an awful lot of snorkeling out there. Uh, so I grew to love the ocean. And after I got out of college, uh, I got certified to be a scuba diver and started scuba diving, gradually uh, doing more and more things. And I've taken a, a number of trips around exotic places to scuba dive. And then when I finally retired, I wanted to continue doing something to give back to the oceans, if you will. And so Ocean Defenders is one of the things that I do. I also volunteer at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach in the education department and talk to guests there and explain about the sea life and what we see. And then I also go out on the whale watch boats and talk to people about whales and dolphins. So with Ocean Defenders, uh, Kurt always needs a deckhand. So even though I have dived in the past with him, of late, pretty much, I just get to come out here and be a deckhand. So I haven't dived with ODA for a while. We obviously recover some of these so-called ghost traps or ghost nets. There's a huge number of fishing nets that get discarded in the ocean every year, and we sometimes recover those. And both the nets and the traps continue to catch marine life, even after they've been, I'll say, abandoned. And so it's important that we go to the trouble of getting them up. Some of my favorite places to dive, I did a, a lot of wreck diving in what's called Truck Lagoon, phenomenal uh, place to dive on wrecks. Um, some coral reef diving in Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, uh, lots of places in the Caribbean. I did uh, a shark dive uh, off South Africa. So depending on what I was interested in, got different experiences. Um, the worst place I think that I recollect seeing was in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia is a country of, I don't know, a thousand islands or something like that. And there's huge currents that flow back and forth through there. And so they get a lot of debris from um, Asian countries, even from Australia. And so many of the islands there, they just, they were covered in trash. It was really, really pathetic. I would say anybody who really loves the ocean, appreciates the ocean, and realizes how important the ocean is to mankind, uh, they should do what they can to participate with ODA, whether it's donating or coming out and volunteering, as we do, or uh, helping to find donors and so forth.